it's finally here guys it's finally here i have waited so long it's finally here welcome guys to nascar heat 2 career mode let's get started right now of today have worked their way up to the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series by way of the other two national series. How I got my start into the NASCAR ranks is there was a small team my dad was driving for in 2012, Tommy Baldwin Racing, and we started an Xfinity car that year and ran a handful of races. And a couple races in, Brad Kozlowski came up to me and, and asked what my plans were. Uh, he had an opening in his truck team at the time, so I signed with them in the middle of 2012. The NASCAR Camping World Truck Series is fast-paced and exciting full of young drivers who are hungry to get behind the wheel and show car owners and sponsors what they can do. From there, to borrow a baseball analogy, the NASCAR Xfinity Series is like the AAA Series for NASCAR. It's where many of the top drivers really made a name for themselves before finally moving on to the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Things just kept snowballing to the Wood Brothers now. So just really fortunate to get some great starts along the way and meet some great people to get opportunities to break through in the NASCAR. Now, it's your turn. You've proven you have some talent behind the wheel at the local track level, but you just need your big shot. Hi, I'm Brad Keselowski. I've been watching you out on the racetrack and you've made some impressive moves. NASCAR needs more drivers like you. I hear you want a shot in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. I don't have a seat available in my trucks, but I know a few contacts that might be able to help you out. Let me see if I can make you a few calls. That was awesome, guys. <clears throat> no teams are interested. No teams are currently interested in signing, you, signing with you. Teams become interested in you as you successfully complete hot seat offers. Now, I... Oh, shit. I haven't um, watched much of Career Mode. I wanted to see what we were getting into, so I watched... Who did I watch? Uh, Jeff Faviano's. I watched episode one, the very beginning. And then I think I watched N2FC4R or Real Rad in one of the two. I watched very briefly the beginning. And what I noticed is they both got offers at Atlanta and then Charlotte. So I feel like that's what's going to happen here. But apparently it's really random. But here we go. Let's see. Game volume is super quiet right now. All right, let's see if there's an offer for Daytona. No offer. Okay. So maybe it's not exactly random. Let's see who won. Grant Infinger. That's, it would be a second career win. His first coming at Talladega in 2016. So... Uh, let's see how random it is. Let's see if we actually get something for Atlanta. For the active pest control 200. Let's see. Offer received. Who is it with? Oh, boy. Um. Alright. It says, we could use your help driving the number 68 truck at Atlanta this week. and get a top 22 finish, and we might consider working with you in the future. Um, I want to quickly. Can I, how can you set your standing? Or not your standings. Your uh, settings right there. Okay, we're going to be doing on Legend difficulty, 25% times 3, all flags, 3 stages, practice, quick qualifying, and race. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, it's okay, so there we go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, let's save. All right, here we go for Atlanta, driving the 68 truck, completely blank, literally nothing to, uh, to it. Here we go. Here we go. I want to apologize if throughout the video... The game sounds or my mic sounds are a little loud. Um, that should be fixed by episode 2. Uh, I'm just testing the waters. New game. New sound settings. So, right now it looks good. We'll see. We are going to practice for a very brief bit. Or brief amount. Alright, I wanted to <laughs> test the sound settings right there. We're going to come out right in front of Todd Gillen. Oh god, he's gonna hit us right off the bat. We're just gonna come up on track, evidently. No F's given. Forgot I'm a man, y'all. I'm trying to figure out the, um... Okay, I guess all we can do is look at lap info right now.
Maybe it's because I didn't actually, after this race, we'll uh, set it. But I guess right now we're just subbing for Clay Greenfield because that's what the back of the window says, the back of the windshield. Oh my god, look how slow this truck is compared to Kyle Busch Motorsports Tundra. Wolfton Clay Greenfield got the flu or something and we were a standby. I'm not gonna run many laps. This is literally my first lap in a truck at Eldora. I haven't even done a full race in this game yet. I did half a race at Eldora and then half a race at Iowa, you know, just testing the waters. This is a little mock qualifying ground. Let's see where what kind of lap times we're working with here. 33.56. I'll uh, I'll take it. Um, let's just go to the next session. It didn't show us where we were running. I don't have a custom setup, so I didn't mean to click that. We get one lap because we're doing a uh, short qualifying. I'm fairly certain from what I've seen qualifying the AI are super difficult that was before actually I don't even think this is day one patch yet because I'm playing literally at one o'clock in the morning right now on September 12th so of course I downloaded it digitally I downloaded it digitally so who knows maybe the patch is already there and I just installed it that way don't know green flag is out let's see what we can get probably last because like I said the AI seemed extremely jacked on qualifying I don't know if legend difficulty is what I should have done man my first actual race we're gonna play strategy though man whenever we pit at the stages we're not gonna fill it up with fuel like Jeff Faviano would do we're not gonna take four tires if we don't have to we might stay out for a couple stages who knows we qualified 31st aka last Sick. Sick nasty, bud. Here we go. Oh, there wasn't a pre-race ceremony thing. Okay, that was awkward. Oh, and a beautiful start. In real life, you can't actually pass the car in front of you like that onto the before you get to the line on the inside, so... We didn't actually make the pass, but that's a little risky business. How many laps is stage one? Nine laps. That's a fair amount. We're going to have to dr uh, use the new drafting physics like crazy here. Getting this super underfunded truck. We had to turn some heads. I know they want us to get 22nd. I don't really know what kind of difficulty we're working with. We just gave uh, TJ Bell a solid little bump draft. Don't know what kind of... Like I said, I don't know the difficulty we're working with here. But they want 22nd. I'm going for a top 10. Get some stage points while we're at it. We're not necessarily running for points in Season 1. But it won't hurt to get. I doubt we'll actually get any. Who knows. Gotta get some some draft from Todd Peck up there. DJ Bell. Put up a fight. Look how scratch up the back windshield is. That's actually pretty dope. I like the, the side drafting. I really like that. You can even do it at Atlanta. We're doing a lot more than side drafting. We're rubbing on like lap three. <laughs> Don't care though. Oh gosh. We gotta turn names here somehow. Ooh, they actually improved the hood cam from Masquerade Evolution. It was awful there. <clears throat> One thing I wonder, and I will be shocked if they implement this, because even like iRacing struggles to do it. If I go to the inside of a truck and like they hang on my right rear, I wonder if that'll give me arrow loose like in real life a truck would. I don't think I can do it to the AI, but I wonder if they can do it to me. Like Wendell Shavis up there. He's trying to do it to... I can't even tell who that is. I think it's the uh, 44 truck? I don't... I don't know. It's pretty... I know what truck it is. I just can't think of who drives it. It's also cool they didn't add any fantasy drivers to this game, man. Because I watch every truck race, but... They don't really talk about guys who are backmarkers, and they got guys who are part-time on this game as well because licensing issues, like Todd Gillen, he's only made a couple starts, and he's in the game. They actually give me damage. Okay, it didn't. We're halfway through this stage, and I've only passed, like, eight trucks, so that's a problem. I'm going to try going to the inside of Todd Gillen. 
Though I'm not shocked for having a tough time getting by him. That's a KBM truck. And we're not exactly a KBM truck. The 44, yep, okay. Tommy Joe Martins. I follow him on Twitter. Oh, no. That was a NASCAR Evolution type moment. Damn it. Stage one just ended under caution, I'm guessing. It was a caution. With like four to go. Wow. Ben Rhodes with a stage point. That's actually pretty sick. We are going to repair damage. And we're going to fill her up on fuel. I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but we got damage, so we had to. Came out last. I know we have a good truck. I'm not exactly worried. We were the only person that pit? Wait. Are you serious? If we were the only person that pit, that's actually pretty sick. Oh, I missed a freaking shift. Damn it. I was looking at my freaking tailgate. Where the Silverado emblem, not the emblem, but the uh, decal is on the left rear. It's all destroyed. That actually blows that I just missed that shift. I was so caught up on looking at the damage that I choked. I think we're going to lose the pack, man. Our car is pretty damaged uh, cosmetic-wise. I might mess up our arrow if they developed that. End of the game. On the bright side, this is only stage two. So I might cut this stage out if it's bad. That's a good thing about stage racing, man. How much fuel do we get? 14 laps. Uh, stage three is usually like twice as long as the first stages, or the first two stages. So like, well at least that's cup. And cup, stage one will be 100 laps, stage two will be 100 laps, but stage three will be 200 laps. You know, uh, they cut the first half in half, and the second half is just by itself. So, trucks is a little different because it's not near as long of races, but, I don't know. I'll see you guys when something interesting happens. Grand Enfinger, he's locked into the chase, but he just pit. I don't know if that was, um, I don't know the reasoning for that. I don't know if that was scheduled or unscheduled. But I'd imagine people would have to pit. Like. Right now, we have 10 laps of fuel. And we've only used like 5 laps. I don't think they can make 2 full stages if they didn't pit that first stage. I don't know, man. Fields get nice and spread out, which sucks. Did I just see a little puff of smoke there? What was that? Who is that up there? TJ Bell. Something happened to him as well. Who is this? Spencer Boyd, what's happening to you, buddy? Did he have a blown tire or something, or is he blowing up? Oh, that's, oh, that's TJ Bell. He just came out of the pits, I'm guessing. Damn it. I got super excited. <laughs> Please, people, pit. We need some solid track position. Damn it. How many laps to go? Three to go in stage two. I really love stage racing in real life, man. I like it in this game, too, so far. not too early to start thinking of strategy oh god man tires starting to wear out trucks are pushing um <clears throat> eight laps of fuel a couple laps ago they said 20 to go so we're gonna have to pit for fuel i was hoping we could be able to just stay out that ain't gonna work i don't think we're able to take one can of fuel either Ooh, someone's up here road again who is that that must be either grand and finger or tj no that's grand and finger two to go I want to risk it, honestly. Because I think stage three might be like 15 laps. I want to risk it and take one can of, or one and a half cans of fuel. I just don't know. Yeah, we're going to do that, man. We have to. Might even take two tires. That's what we're going to do. Definitely. Okay, the stage is over. I know in real life, once the top ten have completed the lap, the stage ends. But I feel like we definitely still had one lap to go there we're gonna pit because everyone else is and we have to but we're gonna take one and a half cans of fuel two tires oh you can't choose which two we're not gonna repair everything else is fine honestly and let's skip Ooh, gain kill spot that's all we needed we're now up to 23rd we're not gonna forget to shift this time either you can bet your bottoms dollar 
Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're not going to do anything stupid either, man. 11 to go. How much fuel we got? 15 laps, man. We played strategy to perfection. Now we're going to be aggressive as all get out. What tires did we get? Okay, we got right side. That's, that's, that, that's good. That's good. We just need a top 22. Let's do nothing stupid here. This will be basically 10 to go this time by. We're going to side draft and draft like crazy. Get this 68 car. Like I said, top 15 was the goal. Or I was top 10 was... Did I say 15 or 10? I'd like top 10. I don't see that happening. Top 15 is like a realistic goal, I guess. And top 22 is just the team goal. I'm more comfortable on the outside. Oh, we hit the apron. Don't open the door. Damn it, we opened the door. Oh, no. Look at the run Austin Sinter got off turn two. Brad right, Keselowski Racing. I don't even know who this is. I couldn't read it. <clears throat> I don't know who we're driving for. I feel like we should have taken four tires, but we uh, we had to get the track position. I, if I if it comes down to it, I will gladly ride around a 19th. I would rather not, as we gave Travis Quaffle one heck of a bump draft. Oh my gosh, man. This car, or truck is so tight. Excuse me. It's tight in the entry slash center, like halfway from the entry to the center. Whenever we have to lift so we don't run over the trucks in front of us, it pushes if we don't lift at the right time. 19th by John Hunter Nemechek. Or not Joe Nemechek, excuse me. I forgot he was in this game. I was going to say, why is John Hunter so far back? Oh, a little contact between us and front row Joe. Is that 61? Oh, 81. I have to say, what? I really like the difficulty of this game, man. Right now, passing Joe Nemechek for 17th is a struggle, and I love it. Oh, someone's having problems. That's my favorite truck driver, Ben Rhodes, man. Thank you, Ben, for having a problem, because it helps us get a 15th, which is, you know, a realistic goal that we set. I don't really know how realistic that was to set. Don't know what happened to Ben. He and Grand Infinger are teammates. So that makes sense that if one had a problem, the other one will. Matt Craft and... Be careful, bud. Alright, there's John Hunter and Stuart Friesen. Oh, man. Fun fact about Stuart Friesen. My, uh... My bro, Spike Buck, that we have, a uh, We share a channel with the bros. Link in the description. We, uh, or he, races Sportsman Modifieds in New York, and he has actually raced against, uh, Stuart Friesen. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty sick. That was just a random fact. Carried really no value to, uh, this episode of Career Mode. Okay, Tyler Young. Oh, Tyler Young, actually. I'm from Texas. He used to race Modifieds. Actually, I don't know if they're Modifieds, but he used to race... At a dirt track near me in Midland, uh, Midland Odessa, the Midland Odessa area, and that's like two hours away from me, three hours away from me, and I've been to that track once. So he's kind of like a hometown boy in a way. I think 15th is the best we're gonna get. We might be able to get past Tyler here, but I just don't see it happening. He gets us on the exits and the pulls away from us on the straightaways. Wendell Chavis, seven tenths back, four to go. There's a chance, a good chance he'll catch us. Did a damn good job filling in for Clay Greenfield, though. This truck is tight. It's our first ever National Series race. And one of the top three NASCAR series. I don't think we would hold him off for three and a half laps. Just look at that speed he's got. We'll try. Boy, will we try. He'll get by us. We just got to go for a top 22 here. We're not going to do anything stupid or wreck for the end and get unnecessary damage I wasn't even trying to let him buy in he just he got us Wendell Chavis to 15th man at Eldora in real life couple uh two months ago now or whatever he had a really tough time he spun like 12 times I swear we're gonna protect the inside they're gonna get us they're gonna get us up top Damn, I was hoping I could get alongside him. Oh, we still can. Let's squeeze. Let's not do what we did to... Uh, oh, here's a uh, Grant Infinger. Let's let him go. 
He's got fresher tires, and he's a couple laps down. Two to go. I feel like we can definitely hold on to this top 20. We've put together. Travis Coapel got held up by Grand Infinger at, like, the worst time for him. Helped us, though. But just look at it. Man, he's just going to pull us. Go at the wall. I'm scratching my eye, and the truck started pulling to the right. Coming to the white flag. Travis Coapel is still within reach. He got loose on the bottom. Come on. We are drafting so hard. I love that we have to fight this hard for 16th. Tommy Joe Martins. I follow him on Twitter. I really like the guy, but I'm not going to let him buy me. And now our first ever Camping World Truck Series start. We did not have a good run through one and two. Quaffle pulled away. Our only goal now is just to hold off Tommy Joe and see if we can't bring home a solid 17th. Five positions higher than our team's goal. Turning heads like Brad Kozlowski said. And we did it. Hell yes. Oh, and a 94 speed rating. That's not bad because I got wrecked and I was really far back for stage two. I will take it every day of the week. All right, 17th. Ben Rhodes, 30th. Man, that sucks. I mean, at least he got that stage point. Who won the race? Christopher Bell. Shock, Not shocking at all. Ryan Truex was a stage win as well. Christopher Bell locked into the chase. Clay Greenfield got 32nd. Apparently, we were number 99. Oh, that's point standings. Okay. Yeah, we need to update that number because that is not what we're going with. We'll do that actually at the end of this episode. Hell yeah, let's finish. I'll take that 17th, man, every day of the week. Let's go. Nice job that top 22 finish day. We'll keep you in mind. We'll keep you in mind for a ride next season. Twelve thousand dollars. Lord, yes. John Hunter Nemechek on Twitter at NASCAR Freak 11. Heard you're looking for a team to sign with for next season. I just want to say good luck. It's competitive out there. Hashtag Hot Seat Challenger. Thanks, man. Check for Hot Seat offer. The Alpha Energy Solutions 200. No offer. Naturally. I bet you we're going to have to wait until Charlotte because I feel like that's actually a thing. Matt Crafton wins it at Martinsville. All right. So far, the wins have been really realistic. Uh, check for hot seat offer at the Toyota Tundra 250 at Kansas. Yeah, no offer. I feel like Charlotte's going to be where you have to get it. Who won Kansas? Ryan Truex. Ooh, I like it. How about that? For the NC Education Lottery 200. Offer received. Yep, I knew it. For Charlotte. Uh, for Bolin Motorsports, we could use your help get, uh, driving the number 66 truck, 66 truck at Charlotte this Thursday. Get a top 22 finish, and we might consider working with you in the future. So, that will be uh, later on today. I'm going to be like triple, quadruple uploading. So, we'll drive the 66 truck. I want to, I want to do my drive real quick because I forgot to do it earlier. So, custom car in the truck series. Uh, Tundra, because I'm a, well, Toyota, but a Tundra. I'm a big fan of Toyota. I guess we're on eight, just like I did NASCAR Revolution Career Mode. And number eight Toyota, I freaking love it. Um, oh, this is number. I wish I could move my damn truck. Let's do that later. I want to get the paint scheme situated. I like that one right there. Um, let's see. This is going to be an underfunded truck, so I wanted to have the underfunded look. We're not going to have a sponsor on there either. Heck no, bro. I really like that one. It's old school. Though I like solid black, but we'll just do this. Base paint. Um, I feel like we're probably going to keep it solid black, just because it looks sick. I wanted to have that underfunded look, man. Where is solid black? Right there, sure. Stripe. I can't see because the damn. Tr um. Red looked good. 
This does the roof also, so we gotta make it look pretty. We're not gonna have a sponsor on there because it's an underfunded truck, man. We gotta. I really like red. I'm not really a fan of red. It's like a color. All right. Um, let's probably make this like gray. Oh, that's how you would do black. Okay, let's make it white. That got look good. Yeah, right there, bud. Uh, n no sponsor. No sponsor. Wow, they got a lot. Yo, why? Why'd you put so many damn sponsors on my truck, bud? You gotta pay if you want to be on this damn thing. Ooh, rim style. Ooh, nice. Can we make them black? I feel like that looks the best. Let's save that paint job. Yes. I think it looks pretty sick, honestly. I really like that. So. Ooh, that looks awesome. Custom driver. Can we change our name? Or does it have to be our gamer tag? Because that would suck, if so. Oh. Or my mail. Not to piss off you feminine... I can't even see my body. Why would I adjust it? Okay. I'm wearing a hat. I can't see my hair. I'm wearing a hat. I can't see my body either. Actually, I like that. Facial hair. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not gonna have it. No. Who cares about our eyebrows? I really don't care about character customization. I like the way he looks right here. Um, sure. Yeah, let's save him. I can't see my damn hair. Uh, profile icon. Okay, we've already done that. Okay, a trophy. Who am I? A victory anthem. I have music off, so I can't hear it. <laughs> That's our... That just scared the piss out of me. Okay. So, that's our truck. I don't know when we'll actually get to use that, but that is our truck. So, that was episode one. Remember, episode two will be out later today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.